Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is RimWorld. So we got the second component assembly bench constructed. Uh, as soon as I remembered to set the bill <laughs> to construct uh, components, Talia jumped on the table. Um, well, she jumped onto the crafting circle in front of the table to get started crafting components. For the rest of the ship parts, uh, we actually crafted up 20 components really quickly. I, I think I traded and bought like six of them, but uh, the rest Lee crafted himself and did a pretty speedy job of it. Uh, we still need something like a hundred components to finish the ship, or 80, 89, something like that. So there's still quite a ways to go. Um, I do have a bit of steel in storage, and I have, uh, I believe it's three deep drills that are set up around steel. Um, there's still a little bit of steel on the far side of the map, way over here, that I can mine by hand. Quite a bit in this mountain over here. So I don't think we're going to be short on the steel to uh, build the components. It's just the time it's going to take. I went in and threw down the tool cabinets to increase the speed of the construction. So that should be quite some benefit. Yeah, so there's still 60. That's yeah, 83. Oh, it's 90. 99. Uh, components to go. 99 components to go on the wall. 99 components to go. Lee crafts one. Stores it in the stockpile. 98 components to go on the ship. Something like that. Smoke leaf binge, that's fine. That's preferable to a fire starting spree. You know, spark it up, but do it with a smoke leaf joint. Oh, it completed a small sculpture somewhere. Who's this guy? We've got a large sculpture completed. Oh, solar flare knocking out our electronics. It's a shame. Beauty of 100. That's pretty good. Uh, most of these rooms have sculptures. I guess these two are without them. So I'll get one installed in here. I think this is Susamu's room. Yeah, Merc and Susamu. So I don't want to put one in here uh, because that'll make Susamu a bit upset. We've got another large sculpture. I don't think anybody's even using this room, uh, but we'll get one put in there anyway. I don't think there's any real reason to put it uh, one in the prison, but I may do it anyways, just because. Here we go. A plasteel small sculpture, beauty of only 72. I think that's pretty fitting. We'll drop that one in here. That makes sense. I think since the, uh, oh wow. What are you doing, Stoll? Starting sculptures and then just dropping them on the floor. Trying to make a grand sculpture out of wood. Oh. Power failure here. Oh no. Poor little dromedary is going to burn to death. Oh, 
Yeah, even if I try to rescue it, I'll get trapped in the fire here. So I'll just let Anna keep doing her thing. Oh, come on. Be, uh... Be finished taking damage, please. So that we can speed up the game. I probably should have taken a look at where the... Thrombos are, but I imagine they'll be pretty easy to find. Here they are. Oh, it's two males this time instead of a male and a female. Oh, sorry, Dromedary Calf One. There honestly wasn't very much I could do about that. Oh no. We've got Rhinoceri again. coming straight in? It looks like they are. It's only eight of them. Uh, they are mashed up pretty close together though, so... This could be a pretty troublesome ordeal. Oh, has the solar flare still got this knocked out? Why is it... Why are we having power problems with that? Just not enough power to go around and if I uh, toggle the power off on these things somebody's gonna have to actually flip the switch I don't think uh, Anna's gonna have time to even do that so we're gonna have to try this with only one turret stole Dylan out the damage real fast pretty well. Come on, take him before he gets to Jumbo. Get him. Get it dead. Get it killed. Oh, he's taking some damage. Oh. Bushido is dead. Jumbo is down. Semi is down. Alright. Whew. Uh, Bushido. Why? She reserved by stole. Okay. Why Bushido? Why you? So sad. Thankfully, these guys are no longer manhunters. Is 
So we're going to end up having a little bit of rhinoceros meat. It's not too bad. Oh, that shouldn't be... Yeah, that shouldn't be home area right there. Oh, look at all the blood. That was a mess. I thought we would be able to handle that a little bit better. Um, yeah, I didn't realize eight... Eight rhinos would do so much damage. Get somebody taking damage. Cow one, what the heck are you doing in the middle of a fire? Can you answer that for me? Salpaca is barking up the wrong tree here. Realize what horrors we have just survived. Come on, you guys can do it. Get that power gun do it up as soon as possible. Semi's got a break risk going. Oh, she's just out here planting psychoid. She should be fine. In acute pain. Yep, red index finger destroyed. She hasn't even been treated for her injuries yet. Stole Susamu and Semi are all untreated right now. Okay, just a bruise. Talia got treated? Yep. She's fine. Angie got treated. It's fine. Merc is good. Crack on his bionic leg. It's not too bad. No bleeding anyway. Semi does have some bleeding injuries, so it would be a good idea for her to get treated. Susmoo's probably on his way. He's not. Stole is on his way. And Jimbo, how are you doing, buddy? You already got treated? Okay. So much blood. Ugh. It's a ridiculous amount of blood there. Let's get Bushido cremated here. In memory of your excellent work. All of the wonderful things that you did for the colony. Well done. Yep, I'm pretty sure Jimbo doesn't have a weapon either. This was his normal. Good. Uh, semi as well. Good. She ever get she did get treated, yeah. Stole treated her. I think that's all of them. Dromedary, what are you doing walking around in the fire? Can you please tell me this? What is it with my animals and running around in the fire? Another female. Why? You're gonna die now. 
Okay, you're gonna live. But only this time. Stay away from the fire. It's clearly evil. You! What are you doing walking through the fire? Like, I know life is terrible pain and misery, but you don't have to end it by running through fires. We only need a living now. Poor Bushido. Gored to death by a rhinoceri. In the face. I didn't check his injuries, so I don't know for sure, but I'm going to assume he got gored in the face. He was a tough dude. He loved tending to animals feeding and milking, taming, training them to carry heavy burdens in order to lighten the load of the other colonists. Look how well they've done. Every additional metal trunk that they bring in is in loving memory of their previous master. Actually, I think Stoll has done most of the taming. It looks like it anyways. Well over half. He was quite a bit more skilled than Bushido. But hey, you know, <clears throat> everybody's gonna start somewhere. I think it's a little funny that um, they can't remove the fuel, like siphon it out of here and put it into another one. I don't know if they can't or if they just uh, don't do it. Because I have the fuel set to zero. I wonder if I could get like Susumu to come in. Nope. Cannot refuel. Cannot drain fuel. Cannot reallocate fuel to other pod. That's fine. I mean, in unturned, if you just walk up to it with the gas tank and right click, it'll take the fuel out, and then you left click over here and it puts the fuel in. And in real life, if they just, you know, crafted a plasteel garden hose or something, come over here, stick it in there, and then suck on the hose for a little while till it starts pouring out chem fuel, and then shove it in the gas tank of this one could siphon it over or straight into a bucket and then pour the bucket into here you could do that then you wouldn't need as long of a hose get creative people stole be creative get the fuel out of here oh no oh horrors it's dead well done Jimbo I'm surprised you didn't flee. I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe it was a boomalope or something? But I don't think I marked any boomalope to be hunted. Now the alpha beavers have made it all the way over here. Is he marked to be hunted? He is kind of brave. I only see two alpha beavers though. There's got to be more. Here, here they are. More towards the south here. Yeah. There they are. I really don't mind. If they come up over here even it would be good because there's still a huge concentration of trees back in this corner. I've been telling people to cut them uh, every now and then because I've needed wood for various things but yeah it's just not not able to keep up with that plus the stockpile is full basically we've got almost a thousand steel 
Uh, Talia and Lee are both working pretty hard getting the components out. Uh, they've already crafted at least one. I think we already had this one and this one. So they've already crafted this one. And we're two away from the next one. So they really are starting to bust it out. I may be able to uh, naturally in the episode at in the episode in the series at episode 115 uh, without having to record and edit and make a longer episode. But we'll see, uh, see how it goes. I really don't want to jinx it. The benevolent Rimworld gods dropping rice on my head. I think we have enough vegetables and fruits. Yeah, we do. The stockpile is full yet again. Probably, probably thanks to rhinoceri, yes. Almost 2,000 rhinoceros meat from that attack. So Bushido, your death was not in vain. You died so that we could have rhinoceros meats in the fridge. Angie's binging again. I really like saying that. That's it's a fun thing to say. I have a couple new wild boars. Uh, like I said last episode, I think I'm going to start trying to keep more of the males and slaughtering the females so that uh... yeah there's less chance of reproduction I'm oh I was about to say I'm surprised the elephants haven't reproduced but they are in the process Turkeys are fertilizing eggs here. Egg progress 11%. Are there turkey eggs in the stockpile? No. So I have a feeling that means that they're laying them outside the stockpile. And after a uh, fairly short while that one's going to hatch into another turkey. Unless somebody decides to pick it up and refrigerate it. This drill has almost depleted its resources. We've still got these two available. And like I say, these, this three squares of resource, I'll probably end up just leaving it there. Uh, Cause like I say, I've got this huge amount of steel I can mine by hand down in this area. And there's, yeah, there's another 700 steel right there waiting to be picked up. We already have like a thousand, almost a thousand in the stockpile. I need to use up these textiles on something again. But I feel like all of Talia's work is done. It is. bit of wort. We've actually been producing a lot more wort than I uh, realized because they've been efficiently taking it straight uh, into the fermentation barrels and producing beers. So we almost have a hundred beers which have been miraculously appearing in the stockpile here. Which is perfectly fine. Um, it gives them something else to chew on for some joy. I don't know if you've ever chewed on beer, but I've had some that was uh, about that heavy and delicious.
wonder why Inji dropped her gun here. When Inji was binging, did she decide to dis disarm herself? That's a pretty good uh, plan, to be honest. Like, if you ever go for an alcoholic binge and you just want to drink all of the beers, uh, yeah, be sure to not carry weapons. Because you never know when you're going to go into an alcoholic rage and just start killing folks around you. Susumu with more delicious beverages for the fridge. Yep, my teeny is broken. Talia and Lee at it again. We've already got another crypto sleep casket. Oh yeah, here we go. Jimbo's getting chased down by the panther, who is shot up pretty good. Jimbo, can you actually take this guy on? Is there anybody close by to help you? Yes, there is. Can you outrun the thing? I don't think so. Oh no. Stop missing, Jimbo. Do you have a terrible melee skill? Uh, it's not, not much worse than your shooting skill. Oh no. No, Inji. I know I told you to do that, but... What? Are you kidding me right now? You've got to be kidding me right now. This panther is... impossible. You should be dead already, panther. Be dead. Man, it's like the Terminator. Ugh, it's disgusting. Two, two colonists dead in one episode. I'm not even going to lie, I really liked Bushido and Jimbo both. I think, besides the original three, they were two of my favorites, for sure. Got a heat wave going, that's a good excuse to use up some wood. There's not much room to put these things, I guess at the foot of a bed. Makes as much sense as any. This room probably stays cool because it's so small and right next to the fridge. What a mess. Why, Jimbo? Why?
Well. Slowly but surely, getting the ship constructed. And we only need 10 crypto sleep caskets now. Gosh. The ship is just an absolute thing of beauty, I have to say. I mean, if I designed a starship in real life, it would look exactly like this, you know? Just bars sticking off of a huge block of machinery. With the tiny engine attached to a computer core. perfect. LNG, you tried your hardest. Don't beat yourself up about it too badly. Jimbo was out there, he should have, uh, he should have tried to kill that panther a little bit harder. It's not your fault that you didn't get there in time. Don't blame yourself, okay? Just got one more crypto sleep casket to build. Only nine more components. Well, seven more. Six more. This is going really quick. With the second bench, I think it really was worth the investment for sure. I probably would have been well off to do this a long time ago, but I was kind of on the fence about whether or not it would be worth it. Turns out it is, so if you have a colony of your own and you're wondering, should I build more than one component assembly bench, do it. Because components are fairly rare and not easy to get a hold of. Which is madness, because I figured we would run into a lot more traders than we actually do. Beat by Bushido. Oh, I gotta read this one. On this piece is an artwork of Tai Bushido Shorty, taming an elephant with a smile. The elephant looks sleepy and drunk with love. The scene takes place in the middle of a district. The unoriginal style of the central scene clashes with the purest depiction of the background. This illustration relates to Bushido's taming of the elephant on 2nd of Spring, 5508. Aww. Car-sized piece of material sculpted into an artistic form. In memory of Bushido, beauty of 320. That's gorgeous. Um, I don't think we can shove it right next to the billiards table. This is actually really out of the way of pretty much everything. If that light wasn't there, I'd probably put it right in here. But this will do. Or actually... Actually, I could put this out in the open here. They'll have to cut down a couple of trees. Yeah, let's set it up right here in the middle. So that when they're outside, they'll get the uh, beauty bonus as well. That's pretty suitable for uh, Bushido's memory there. Taming of the elephant. And it's hilarious because I kept trying to tell him, do not tame the elephants because his skill was so low. 
he tamed two of them out of the three successfully without them revenging him so well done Bushido you will be sorely missed and Jimbo as well you did a lot you did a lot of hunting totally filled up stockpile at one point of course with the help of all of the other colonists basically but you were a good random jobs person Duncan oh female I feel like we've seen this person before I feel like we've seen this exact person before because I said Duncan and then I was surprised that it was a female Psychically dull, slowpoke, incapable of intellectual or violent. I mean, I've already canceled the crypto sleep casket building. Maybe I should just heal her up and send her on her way. Maybe I should capture and sell her as a slave? Maybe I could recruit Duncan? Add a crypto sleep casket? And ship her off with the rest of the colony to start a new life together? I don't know. I'm not even sure why the colonists would want to ever leave this place. It's so gorgeous. Such a wonderfully built colony. That's where I'm going to leave it for this episode, though. Uh, if you want to make sure and catch the next one, feel free to subscribe. Consider supporting if you would. And be sure to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. Thank you very much for every time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.